Hi, I'm Mark Maven. I'm professor of philosophy at Oakland University, and I'm lecturer in foundational medical studies at Oakland University, William Beaumont School of Medicine. And I'm Jason Wasserman, associate professor of foundational medical studies, and also hold an associate professor appointment in pediatrics at Oakland University, William Beaumont School of Medicine. Both of us serve on area hospital clinical ethics consultation services. We've noticed that some patients who lack decision-making capacity nonetheless have really clear preferences about their treatment. We've also noticed that physicians are sometimes reluctant to treat these patients over their objections. Even though the patients lack decision-making capacity, their guardians assent, and the treatment would be in the patient's best interest. We argue that physicians who are reluctant to treat such patients may nonetheless have a moral reason for doing so. Namely, that patients who have a capacity for preferences have a moral claim to participate in decision-making about their care. So when we think about why the capacity for preferences matters morally, even when a patient doesn't reason well, we can think about two key values. The first is liberty. Uh, you know, individuals basically have a normative claim to uh, exercising their free will. Uh, and outside of the hospital, we let people do this all the time, even when their reasons don't make sense, and even when the consequences are bad. Uh, inside the hospital, however, we, we heavily prioritize their ability to think rationally. Uh, and we think that that's an important thing, but that people who don't think in particular ways nonetheless retain claims to liberty. Secondly, people who don't think well are nonetheless persons, and persons are deserving of respect. So again, even when someone isn't reasoning well, their mere claim to be respected as a person, combined with the fact that they're expressing a preference, entitles them to some moral weight in the decision-making process about their own care. To be clear, we think that sometimes it's morally permissible to treat patients over their objection. Our thesis, though, is that there are always moral reasons to take seriously the preferences of patients. The upshot of our view is that we offer support for physicians who are reluctant to treat patients over their objection, and also that we can learn from this clinical wisdom to add nuance to clinical ethics guidelines. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.